Hi, I'm the green M&M. I've decided that I no longer wish to wear my sexy white go-go boots, a symbol of female oppression, and I certainly don't like showing any skin anymore. So now I'm going to wear some plain white sneakers and cover up my arms and legs. What do you think? It looks pretty good, don't you think? What's your best quality? Being a hype woman for my friends, I think we all win when we see more women in leading roles, so I'm happy to take on the part of supportive friend when they succeed. Yes, American confectionery manufacturer Mars Incorporated has decided to make their popular M&M's brand chocolate more inclusive. Don't get me wrong, I love M&M's, but were they not already inclusive? The orange M&M will suffer from anxiety issues to better reflect young people. Favourite way to unwind? I don't understand the question. Are you an optimist or a pessimist? I'm positive something will go wrong at any moment. Favourite knock-knock joke? An expected knock on the door is nothing to joke about. I can't leave the house without… panicking. Although previously brown and green had been seen at odds with each other, the brown M&M together with green will now be a supporting force for women who are throwing shine, not shade. Not bossy, just the boss. What's your worst quality? Being able to pretend I have one. What would be the first thing you would do if today was your last day? I'd answer interview questions like this, because honestly, that seems to slow time to a crawl. The other three colours have also had a bit of a makeover. Red, previously the bully of the bunch, will now be kinder moving forward. You can read all about them on the M&M website. All of the characters will also have prefixes removed from their names in order to focus on their personalities rather than their gender. And they've got new poses to be more inviting and welcoming so everyone feels as though they are part of the crew, making anyone feel invited. Unsurprisingly, the new changes have been met with mockery and even condemnation on social media. Someone looks at a bag of M&Ms and says, I feel excluded. Who has ever seen M&Ms and thought, they don't represent me? It's a candy. M&Ms are not only fictional, but also literally a rainbow, and yet still they are apparently not diverse enough. I don't understand how people think woke M&Ms is some left-wing thing. No one asked for this. The left asked for free healthcare and defunding the cops, and for people to actually, materially, be taken care of. Women. Everyone's lives would improve if we had things like paid family leave, universal pre-K, affordable childcare, and the ability to make informed decisions about our reproductive issues. Sorry, futures. Capitalism. LOL. No, but please enjoy these feminist M&Ms. Don't worry folks, they won't be changing the core element of M&Ms mythos, the implication that they feed on each other for sustenance. What do you think? Are these character changes important? Do you even care? Will you still be eating M&Ms? Can you think of any new changes to make M&Ms even more inclusive? Personally, I just like chocolate and I don't really care. Is that bad of me?